think of the modern, affordable two-door coupe as being like applesauce made from one of those squeaky, hand-cranked mutilator contraptions. Only in our pomacious metaphor, the mechanism is a quid pro quo equation, in which, ideally, the impracticality of lower door count is offset by performance pretense and rear-wheel drive. This arithmetic creates gooey, wholesome stuff such as the latest Camaro, the Ford Mustang, and the BRZ slash FRS twins. It also has boxed out nearly every front drive two door on the market except Honda's Accord. As a performance machine, the deck is act against the Accord Coupe. Its specifications include front wheel drive, a large 107.3 inch wheelbase, and more than 61% of its mass riding over its front axle. But the Accord Coupe has long transcended its pigeonhole, and its cosmetic tweaks haven't changed that. The V6, six-speed manual version you see here is the family's edge case, with 278 horsepower, and a plethora of new, non-functional gashes in each bumper. Power is unchanged compared with the last Accord Coupe we tested, a 2013 model, and the cars weigh within 6 pounds of one another. It's also a negligible 2 tenths of a second slower to 60 mph, a still quick 5.8 ticks, and posted barely lower grip and a 4 foot longer stop from 70 mph. Unlike a Ford Mustang or a Chevrolet Camaro, the Accord Coupe isn't a numbers car. No one will be impressed by the Honda's performance stats, but anyone can jump into this car and take up a quick pace. In spite of the Accord's extremely front-biased weight distribution, the nose never feels heavy, a sensation aided by the light steering. Everything from the steering wheel to the brake pedal, the clutch, and the suspension feels as though it moves through the same high viscosity fluid and the car simply flows down the road. Understeer keeps you from going completely wild, but it's progressive and manageable. You'll often hear bleeding over the Accord Coupe's high price, at least relative to stuff like the Mustang and the Camaro. But Ford has effectively relegated its V6 Mustang to rental car status in its earnest Mr. Shouty Caboost. From every rooftop, and the Accord's premium over the Camaro V6 has shrunk to $3,255 as Chevy makes room for that coupe's new turbocharged four-cylinder base model. This is as evenly matched on price as these cars have ever been, and at $31,745, the Accord XL comes loaded with 18-inch wheels, leather seats, dual-zone automatic climate control, a power driver's seat, heated front seats, a sunroof, and lead tail lights and fog lights. So it's not a rear-drive pony car, but for a slice of buyers, it fits the bill perfectly as a quick thing filled with creature comforts. Honda may be ignoring the industry's two-door recipe by keeping the Accord Coupe front drive or by keeping it around at all, but the car remains appealing. The restyled bumpers and wheels don't ruin what's easily the sauciest design in Honda's lineup, the backseat can actually hold bipedal creatures of moderate stature, and the trunk is enormous. Consider the driving satisfaction to be the cinnamon sprinkled on this delicious applesauce, the manual transmission the crank you want to keep operating, and rear drive a non-essential ingredient.